haven't posted a video in a few days, so I wanted to give you a quick update. I do have a tendency to disappear, but <laughs> this time that's not it. Um, and sorry about the bandit on my nose. I've got a pimple right in the middle of my nose. So the first video that I actually show my face in, I didn't want to, want to look like Rudolph the reindeer. Those of you who are new, because um, there were a fair few of you who subscribed to the channel after I posted the last few videos, thank you very much for that. Um, there are two cars that I speed run. Uh, one is a 988E type pan, which is a direct drive uh, eight scale pan car that I'm running on, uh, that I'm try trying out a low cell build. So it's running a parallel 3S setup. Fastest so far has been 192 kph with it. I'll put up the link up here in a card. You can check that video out. The goal with that car is 150 miles an hour on three cell. So currently it's at a 119, 120. Now I don't know if that's possible or not, but I'm definitely gonna try. So let's see, I don't have it right now. It's currently with uh, Paul from uh, Zerk. So the, just a few things that I wanted to get done. So he's sorting that out for me. And I usually wanna give, give him speed run stuff. No, I don't put a time frame on it. Mainly because I don't really give him very clear directions. So essentially I just tell him this is what I want to do. What I want to do. Yeah, please figure it out for me. And he very graciously does it every single time. Talking about the 988, the 6S 988, which is uh, a originally a gas powered um, 988 competition chassis, uh, which was converted to electric by Paul at Berserk. In the previous video where it took flight, <laughs> Um, it caught some serious air. I was quite impressed by it. <laughs> but anyway, I said in the description that the car is fine. Um, and uh, it's not. Went over it and everything. Couldn't find anything out of the ordinary. All four wheels were working. Keep that. That's the key point. I went out for a run a few days after. And every time I got on the power, it would pull hard left. Whoa. Nope, that ain't right. So that's the 988 success. Um, I've only I've got the front wheels on just to show you exactly what's happening. Um, but if I flip over, so I turn this wheel, you can see all four are running and turning just fine. But I put some load on that wheel. Now, this is a one way. These cars generally normally run a one way. I lock this because it's uh, easier to brake with all four wheels with a one way. If the brakes only get applied to the rear wheels. So you don't want that. It gets a little sketchy when you're braking from that type of speed. Um, so that wheel's still on the, the mat. Uh, the one way bearing on this side, um, which I had locked by <laughs> jamming a whole heap of epoxy in there, that basically let go. So the bearing has is busted completely because if it was just uh, the epoxy that broke, I would have still had a consistent drive when moving forward. It would have been just the braking part, which would have become a little bit sketchy. So yeah, that's that's about it. I mean, that's all that's happened to it. I've uh, thoroughly gone over the car by now. The chassis is straight, deck's fine. Essentially, I just need to take it out, dremel out the old epoxy, and just uh, fill it up with a new, new epoxy. I know the the right way to do it is to drill through the one-way bearing and put a dowel pin in it so it's per permanently locked. But when I first put this car together, we we were short on time and didn't have the facility or the means to do that. So I just crammed it full of epoxy. Seemed to be working fine at that time. So I just figured, you know, if slash when it lets go, I'll do it properly. Um, I don't think there's any need for that. I think I caught a lucky break with this. Uh, being that that was a weak link, it saved the rest of the left side. If it was mechanically locked, yeah, I think I'd be, I would have lost a drive shaft or um, a hub or something else. Basically an instance where I would have to order new parts. So I'm, I think I'm just gonna go with this. Um, as long as I don't crash, it runs fine. So it's held up, which is, uh, frankly, I was surprised. I uh, wasn't expecting the epoxy to hold up for much longer, for too long. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know, um, this will be fixed over the next week. As soon as I get some time, I'll go to the hardware store and grab some epoxy and fix it up. 
and then uh, hopefully by next weekend at the latest I should be able to put up another run video um, yeah that's about it <laughs> before I go I just wanted to give a huge massive shout out to Plague Bearings some of you might know that I was uh, partially sponsored by Plague previously over the last couple of years this year however um, Mr. Trevor the owner of Plague very graciously offered me a factory position so yeah I'm extremely excited about it and I'm really really grateful to him for the opportunity and that's the other reason why I want to run a little bit more run my rigs a little bit more because I want to do right by the people who support me so yeah you'll be seeing a lot more RC action for me I won't be disappearing from the RC scene um, like I normally do and that also brings me to um, another thing that I've been thinking about for the channel now, I want to start diversifying the content that I put on the channel not just speedruns I do everything pretty much I've got a basher I've got an infraction just to mess around with I've got uh, I race uh, 12 scale and pro 10 at um, TFTR which is my local track yeah and oh here's something pretty cool ah, yeah not mine that's not mine um, I uh, we a friend of mine who used to speed run with us years ago um, he wanted to get back into the hobby and we were trying to find him a limitless for oh, nearly a year now it's just been sold out everywhere in Australia so we found this second hand that guy's really crazy busy so I offered that you know you just give me the motor and EC and I'll put it together for you so I'll, I might do a time-lapse video of me putting this together so he's got an XLX2 um, and a TP power motor hopefully get him running very very soon so he'll have another limitless in the Melbourne speed crew luckily it's finally picking up again I, I think it's all because of Arma that the speed runs are coming back to fashion because it kind of just died uh, a couple of years ago till the limitless came anyway hopefully I'll see you all soon with a running car within a week see ya <laughs>